Hey, just stay for a minute. Lay your body on the bed, spend a day or two in it. If I hit you on the road, then I'm tryna get in it. You my baby, you my girl, so you all in my business. Late night doing shows on the road with my niggas, smoking pound after pound, keep a polo to with us. Hey, I'm so into you. Hey, little baby, I'm so into you. Thought I'd ask back. Let me text you. Back. Hey yo. We back again with another reaction. You know how to get my cousin back. I told y'all she's famous, y'all. Yeah. So I only get to see her, you know, maybe like three times a year. You know what I'm saying? She be in Africa. You know what I'm saying? Backstage with Taylor. You know what I'm saying? She was at the Super Bowl with her. <laughs> at the club. She might look she might have looked old enough to be at the club, but she still got in. <laughs> but this is why I like bringing her around because she helps me become a better Swifty than I am. Because you guys help me out a lot. But I got a Swifty right next to me, too. You know what I'm saying? She got the, the cardigan on, y'all talking about? Looking all fresh to Dizaf. <laughs> and today, what song are we doing today? Evermore Life. <laughs> Taylor Swiftski. Now, I believe the live version is from like somebody recording off their phone and everything. So you might not really see her full up and close and personal. Uh, but at the end of the day, who cares? As long as it's Taylor Swift, we get to hear this beautiful voice. Just from reading a little bit of the comments, they say the, that the song sounds even better in live version. So we go determine that. But you guys got to let me know because I don't know if I've ever did the reaction to the song myself. I don't think so. So this is going to be the first time this is on the channel. But you already know. Y'all new to the channel. Press that like. The comment and um Subscribe. there we go there we go see <laughs> you know what i'm saying she finishing the sentences for me <laughs> yeah. so let's get to it as soon as she started playing everybody go crazy the what album is this one from mm. self-explanatory <laughs> Now, when it comes to this song, is this more like a love vibe for her? And is she talking about like one of the horrible exes that she dealt with? Yeah, pretty much. Do you know, <clears throat> Do you know which one? No. I, I don't really know. She doesn't, the thing about her though is like she doesn't like say who her songs are about. Like the Swifties can just figure it out or like guess who it's about. So it's pretty much when she does her music, she makes them into like Easter eggs basically. Yeah. And it's just our job to figure out which ex she's talking about because they're all horrific. But mm -hmm. there's certain things she says that might like, hmm. This yeah. is about that one or this one. Yeah. Taylor, you're a clever woman. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the part she says something in the beginning, like something December, but she's been down since July. Oh, yeah. One thing I hate is how she gives so much love when it comes to her relationships and the, the men that she date doesn't give enough back. Mm -hmm. And it seems like she puts her all into every relationship that she deals with. And literally, they, she always comes out broken. Yeah. But yet she comes out broken. She always finds a way to piece herself back together. To continue being amazing and find someone better <laughs> exactly aka travis kelsey <laughs> <laughs> to be you're gonna be me one day travis you mess up it's me next and i ain't letting it go Damn. Okay, Taylor. And what's crazy is what I always get is she knows that the relationship is not going the way it should. And she knows it's like fading away or it's breaking. 
and what's crazy is like most women well not most women a lot of women still deal with the situation and try to fix it as much as they can taylor does the same thing but when she knows it's fully over she gets herself out of there and she leaves it's never a story i where i heard she's like okay she's gonna keep going back to the same guy over and over to the point where she's like <laughs> broken down broken down once she knows that it's over and this person is not going to change for the better she up and leaves and she does what's best for herself and i love how instead of dwelling on it and everything she puts it in her music because i feel like that's like her healing type of situation like that helps her heal uh, when she writes it out on paper and then performs and stuff like that and starts like making her feel better i feel like music is her therapy because mm -hmm. all her music is just <laughs> evermore <laughs> <laughs> facts but it is fire i love how she just breaks everything down i love how she plays multiple instruments too i've seen her play guitar i've seen her play piano i heard she be playing the flute uh saying whatever that little violin i, I heard she play it all <laughs> she's just multi-talented and for these men to break her heart and not treat her right is crazy you have a woman that does it all everything i heard she could write her own book if she really wanted to yeah pretty much <laughs> I forget which video I did a reaction to, but she was literally like an artist at the end of it. Which one was it? She literally wrote a book at the end. And I was like, damn, she should be like an artist. And somebody was like, yeah, she did say she was writing a book one day or something. Mm. I forget. It'll pop into my head sooner or later. I'll just all be singing word for word. <laughs> I like her what's the words i'm looking for it's a certain word because it's like when she's saying her, her her lyrics and stuff you know what it's basically portraying like uh being on a wave and being tossed basically just being tossed around in this relationship and it's just going up and down and it's just constantly just a roller coaster and a battle and everything to the point where it's just hard for her to figure things out and get through this but at the end of the day she always prevails and becomes stronger and stronger at the end of the day and i feel like all these relationships she's been through has helped to become the person she is today because it's not one thing i've never heard of taylor going through and not figuring it out or fixing it it's always some type of way she battles through it and comes back stronger than ever to the point i feel like now in this point of view of her being with travis she knows everything she's looking for in a guy and what she wants and what she's not going to deal with mm -hmm. and i did what a, she deserves yeah pretty much basically and that's good though because it's like i tell people all the time you know you got to go through certain bad relationships to figure out who you are as a person and what you'll deal with and what you won't deal with as you get older so you're still young so you ain't got to worry about this yet <laughs> but when you get older okay understand they don't treat you like a princess we jumping them okay deal all right. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't tell nobody I helped beat you up. Beat him up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Taylor be trying to get me to cry.
There's no the pain ain't ever gonna be, you know, there with Travis. Just know that. I can't wait for her album to drop next month. I know. I'm so excited. April 19th. Listen, y'all, that one was fire right there. Pretty much all her concerts are fire. I love how the crowd just always in tune and everybody gets excited when they hear a certain song and they all sing word for word. Yeah. I don't think it's one Swifty in there that does not know every song for some reason. At this point, when Taylor comes out here, we got to go to a Swifty concert. We have to. Yeah, she, she needs to come back with me. You. you feel me? At this point, Taylor, let me just sit front row. You feel me? I'll record you like that so the fans <laughs> can know I was there. You feel me? Yeah. I'm talking about, but off the rip, Taylor keeps doing, keep going crazy, uh, keep making amazing music. April 19th is going to be an amazing day. Um, I'm going to try to do a couple reactions with her as well. So that way, you know, she could throw something out there. But for the most part, Taylor, keep being amazing. You know, you got two Swifties right here that love you and cherish your music to death that we listen to you damn near every day, especially on the radio because your music play nonstop. That Cruel <laughs> Summer is stuck in my head. I like the live one. The live right. version of Cruel Summer? Yeah, the live version of I hear that song every day on my way to work and every day on my way home. Cool summer. And then they play it in the gym all the time. <laughs> ah, that was a fire song, dog. But listen, y'all, press that like, comment, um, subscribe. Oh, my mama, mm -hmm. granny kids, and uh, we love y'all. We about to do another one so y'all can have two of them for the day.